Over the past few years, we have sold thousands of the Morimoto XP headlight for your 4Runner. And if you're watching this, you're either ready for the upgrade or you're trying to decide if it's a good idea to upgrade from the old Morimoto XP to the all new XP Evo or XP Evo Hybrid. The all new XP Evo and the XP Evo Hybrid isn't just some simple off the shelf upgrade. It's a dramatic change to your original headlights. I just wanna dive in real quick on the major differences. Your original lights did have LED projectors. They even had bi-LED projectors to give you a very bright high beam. At the time, they were some of the brightest headlights you could ever install on your 4Runner. That was until this happened. If you watch our other video, we did a shootout where we compared a whole bunch of aftermarket housings for the 4Runner, and it was no doubt that the XB Evo and the XB Evo Hybrid were the brightest on the market to date. You gotta check out that shootout video because I explained to you guys just how we test these headlights and compare them from one light to another. It's an all new testing method that really gives you a good perspective on how good a low beam, a high beam is. Now I've got that first generation Morimoto XB headlight housing for the fifth gen 4Runner installed. And as you can see here, you got your low beam that's bright white with a sharp cutoff line. It's got a distant zone score on low beam of 3.0, which is pretty intense. High beam was a 4.0. And looking at the width, you can see it's actually pretty decent. It has an overall width score of a 3.1 and the overall rating comes to a 3.6. The next headlight I got installed is the Morimoto XB Evo hybrid version. On low beam, we got that distance score of 6.6. .6. That's really good. And as you can see, that cutoff line looks a lot different than what you've seen on the other versions of the headlights. Morimoto really spent a lot of time on the cutoff shield to make sure that this gives you everything you need in a light output. On high beam, there was a distance zone score of 7.7 .7 and the width, obviously that is a pretty intense width, the width scored a 5.7, so an overall score rating was a 6.7 from the hybrid headlight. Now the cool part with these headlights is that you could replace the driver. It will no longer be DOT compliant, but if you replace the driver with this supercharger driver, you can get a little bit more light output, usually around 30%. After testing the low beam, we got an 8.3, and on high beam, a 10.4 with a width score of 6.7. That brings the overall rating up to 8.8. .8. Now, when you install the Morimoto XB Evo headlight, it looks like this on low beam. And yes, you probably notice this low beam looks exactly like the hybrid version. It's essentially the exact same, even on the score of a 6.6. .6. However, high beam, because it's got that inner projector, that D projector, it does produce a better beam pattern, a better brightness, and a better overall score of 8.6. .6. The width score was a 5.8 so the overall score was 7.4. Again though, on the backside of this XB Evo headlight housing, if you were to remove the original driver and purchase the supercharger driver, slap that on the back of the headlight housing, you would get a low beam score of 7.8, a high beam score of 10.9, and a width score of 6.7. So your overall rating is a 9.2. That high beam of the Morimoto XB Evo is insane. And that's all thanks to this all new projector right here. This is the D projector. It's a D series projector. It's completely made up by the creator of this headlight, Yoshi Ishida. He did an incredible job. And as you can see, the outputs speak for themselves. We took the forerunners out into the middle of nowhere in the mountains. And when you're actually driving around in the trails or just off-road at nighttime, they are extremely bright. And I know I touched on the supercharged drivers a little bit, but I just wanted to dive in a little bit further. You can access the backside of the hybrid or the XB Evo, remove your original driver, and then install the supercharged driver. It is a little bit extra. It's like 150 bucks. You can get it in the drop-down menu. And if this was me and I was doing the full-on install where I'm pulling the bumper on my 4Runner, I would absolutely buy the last piece of the puzzle to then have the world's brightest headlights ever. You don't get that on the Morimoto XB. This is more of a set it and forget it kind of headlight. These, you have that extra feature. Look, I know that it's not just about light output. Some of you don't even care what the light output looks like. It's all about style to you. Let's go over the differences really quick. First off, the daytime running light. The daytime running light on the Morimoto XB Generation 2 headlight was super bright. 
Yes, they did a great job on that. But you couldn't select between a white and an amber like you can on the Morimoto XB Evo. You can't do that on the XB Hybrid, but you can do that on the Morimoto XB Evo. There's a set of keys that you can choose from, and it's as simple as unplugging the key on the backside and plugging in a new key. There's four different colors. All of them control that DRL to have a different color and a different turn signal function. I'll dive into that in just a second. The daytime running light here is a very bright daytime running light, but it's got nothing on the topo that's integrated in the daytime running light on either the hybrid or the XB Evo. That topographic look, I think might be a trend and it's definitely going to catch on. If you're an overlander or you take your vehicle off road, you need that. It is the biggest flex. I know it's kind of weird. Maybe some of you might think it's gimmicky, but when you've got 40 dudes driving their vehicles in the middle of the mountains, they see your headlights, they say, what the heck is that? It doesn't do anything for performance, but it's still pretty cool. All of these headlights are on parking light mode right now because if I were to turn these on to the daytime running light, it would undoubtedly blow out the camera. They are so bright. The original XB and the XB Evo Hybrid and XB Evo all have a super bright true daytime running light, which means when you're driving around during the day, it's going to get brighter and then dim down when your headlights are on. All Morimoto headlights generally have an extremely bright daytime running light. However, this Morimoto XB does not have TIR optics like they've used in the new daytime running light. That just means that no matter which way you're standing and looking at the front of your vehicle, it's going to be equally as bright. It's going to be bright from the front of your vehicle, and then if you're way over here, you're still looking at your vehicle, it's equally as bright. It's a super good feature, it's subtle, but it just makes the whole front end of your vehicle that much better. The turn signal, thankfully, in your original lights, as you know, you can have that sequential turn signal, or you have that selectable uh, connector on the backside, you either plug it in or unplug it to then get your standard blink turn signal. So yes, you can choose between standard and sequential. On these headlights, it's a little bit different. For the hybrid version, that's the entry level or the cheaper version of the XB Evo, you only have the standard version, but it's actually like a fade off. It's like a bright and then fade off. It's a little bit different than a on, off, on, off, on, off, like you're normally used to. The XB Evo is where you get to have that sequential feature if you want. So let's say you had a different key on the backside, it can have a sequential turn signal and an amber DRL. You can use a different key and then you can have that standard turn signal and then the amber daytime running light. If you like to modify your vehicle, then the customizability of these are way better than your original XB Evo. You can have an amber Morimoto XB headlight, but you had to completely buy a whole new headlight. Let's say you originally bought the white and then you got your vehicle wrapped and you said, I want that to be amber. It will look a lot better on my vehicle. You'd have to throw this headlight away and buy a completely different SKU. So now having the option to simply change the key that is already included in the kit for the XB Evo is a pretty big change. If you're looking for a voice of reason or a way to just spend more money, I'm hoping I'm doing a good job because this right here is well worth the upgrade over your original upgrade to your headlights. If you still have your Forerunner and you bought this years ago, you're probably noticing that there's a little bit of sun fading or maybe some damage to the lens. If you're actually driving your vehicle, you don't just leave it in the garage all the time. These lenses started to fade a little bit. Not a bad thing. Generally, Morimoto would warranty those out if that was ever the case. They have a five-year warranty, as do these, but now I don't think you're gonna have that problem. With the new formulated hard coating on both of these headlights, you're not gonna have an issue. They replicated Toyota's standard for the hard coating then the UV protection, and then they surpassed it. And their goal was to just have a headlight that you could leave out in the sun for as long as you want without any sun fading, any damage whatsoever. Now, if you guys are all about that style, there's also something to point out between the XB Evo and the XB Hybrid. If you turn off the lights and you look inside of here, you're gonna notice that the XB Hybrid is pretty much all blacked out. All of the bezels, everything inside of here, it's really blacked out. But there's more definition, this titanium color in the Morimoto XB Evo. And in my opinion, I think this looks a little bit better when it's mounted to your vehicle and the lights are off. Only being because it has more definition. It doesn't just kind of get lost in the photos and the videos you're taking of the front end of your 4Runner. Now, 
Let's get a little bit nerdy over here because this is something that no other headlight manufacturer is doing right now, and that is with the Mac Daddy of them all, the Morimoto XB Evo. They're now integrating heaters. I've been with everybody up in the mountains when it's ice cold. There's snow, there's ice, it's building up on the front end of your headlight, and if you don't have an integrated heater, you are gonna have an issue. The reason that LED headlights get a bad rep is because they generally don't get hot enough to melt that snow. Halogen bulbs would get hot enough to melt the snow, but if you have an LED projector, they just simply don't get hot enough. That's why Morimoto's created this ingenious heating mechanism inside of the headlight. So if there is frost and buildup on your headlight and the conditions are met and it's cold enough outside, you are going to have all of that snow and ice melted on your headlight. The hybrid version doesn't have it. It's just the Mac Daddy of them all, like I'm saying, the Morimoto XB Evo. Yes, you do pay a prettier penny for the XB versus the hybrid, but it's really up to you. Do you want to be the best? Or do you want to be the second best? On that topic of price, Morimoto did us a solid. One of our most popular, it's probably the most popular now, is the Forerunner XB Evo and XB Hybrid headlights. Headlight Revolution, we sell a ton of products. This is the most popular. And I think the reason why is Morimoto gave us a break and we were able to put it on our website for the same price or very close to the original XB Generation 2 headlights, the ones you probably have on your vehicle today. So that said, it's almost a no brainer to then get the supercharged driver and slap it on the backside of your headlights. A little note, a little secret, something I noticed is when you slap that supercharged driver on the XB Hybrid headlight, you then get a startup sequence. Now you don't get the full startup sequence like you would on the XB Evo because you don't have that other projector. This is just kind of a dummy projector but it's still pretty cool that you get to unlock that feature. Yes, these have a startup sequence and they look badass, but the original ones did have a startup sequence as well. It had that chase feature, and in my opinion, I think both of them look equally as impressive. So I don't think you're getting a massive improvement if you were to buy these ones over that. If that was the only thing that was important to you, just keep your original headlights. That's an opinion. You probably don't want to do that considering there's so many other options and so many other better design features with these headlights. I really want you guys to check out that shootout video because ultimately that was where we put all of our blood, sweat, and tears to truly get the nitty gritty and test of these headlights were good. Are they good? Yes. They blow the original XB headlights out of the water. Guys, we test stuff for Forerunners all the time. It is our mission at Headlight Revolution to find the best lighting for your vehicle so you're not just wasting your money. There's a lot of garbage out there and we don't want you to have that on your vehicle. We want you to be safe and see a lot better. Go to headlightrevolution.com today. Go see everything that we've tested. If it's on our website, it's worth putting on your Forerunner.